So I got a fantastic question from a supporter. I, I do believe it was one of my members. I, I can't remember her name. It starts with the M, her username. So shout out to you, Scripture Squadron. You know, Scripture Squadron is our exclusive members, exclusive videos, and uh, priority response when you have questions and whatnot. So uh, this is a great question. She asked about uh, why do Scorpios stare at you? And it's kind of intimidating. It's kind of creepy. Is it like seductive are they trying to look at you sexually or what's that all about so we're gonna go a little deep dive into it i'm gonna explain to you and you've probably seen this as well or if you're a scorpio you may do this or you may unconsciously do this like <laughs> jay always unconsciously does it so welcome back to the scorpio scriptures podcast i'm your host master jay this is where we talk about astrology all things scorpio related and expansion of consciousness so today, we're going to expand on the consciousness of this channel's favorite topic, the Scorpio. But, the Scorpio stare, ooh, them eyes. If you ever see the Scorpio's eyes, like that dude in the, in the, in the video picture right now, whoever that is, looking at you, uh, you'll notice Scorpios kind of look like that all the time. Or, you look at them in the eye, and you just see them staring at you, and it kind of looks like they're not thinking at all like you're just staring into the void right that's how i can really explain it the scorpio they just look at you and you kind of feel like you're looking at a black hole and <laughs> what is that what is up with that stare so first part of the question was why did they do it and the second part is was it sexually so what is it sexual right because it's kind of intimidating is it sexual i want to say a majority of the times no it is not sexual because energy is contagious right energy is contagious and you can kind of feel when someone is attracted to you and you can kind of feel when someone wants to get it on with you right you just have this sixth sense people have sixth sense especially women they're uh, naturally in tune with the sixth sense more than men men kind of have a little struggle with it uh, especially when they're young but as they get older as they evolve as they get more mature they definitely do um, they definitely have the ability to trust their gut more. Once that testosterone, you know, gets a little under control and their brain forms. The male brain forms fully at around the age of 25. And the female, I believe, I believe the female's brain is formed at around the age of 18 or is it 21? But um, that's why the men, they take a little longer time to mature. Because a part of their brain is not fully formed. <laughs> but, you know, girls, they do mature a little quicker. But I digress. So, Scorpio stare. Is it sexual? Mm, probably not. Because if it was sexual, you'd be able to feel it. But the Scorpios are able to control their sex drive very well, right? They don't really come off uh, always like sexual. They just kind of have that black hole energy. Like, like you're seeing the void. Mm. Somebody comments a lot on these videos. They say my mind is like a maze and I guess that's true So when you are staring at the Scorpio or Scorpio staring at you, it's not sexual if it was sexual You'd be able to tell it'd be very strong, right? Because energy can somewhat be controlled Ex-girlfriend of mine Shout out to Capricorn mm, 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 wow. She'd always be leaving for work and at that time, you know, I had a very high couldn't control my libido very much and before she'd leave for work i look at her and i give her this look and she'd go no she goes stop it <laughs> she goes stop jay don't give me that look that you always give me that look and then guess what we do right before she went to work oh yeah break her off real quick <laughs> So, you know when the Scorpio is looking at you sexually. It's quite different than uh, the normal Scorpio stare. Now, the reason why it can be intimidating or a little overwhelming when a Scorpio is staring at you. You know, Scorpios, we do this. Uh, we, we, we just do this when we're in public or when we meet a person for the first time or we're kind of interested in a person. Or you may just like turn around. You may see a Scorpio just staring at you. What we're really doing is we are just uh, profiling you. We're just profiling you. And I had a cousin in Asia ask me one time. He was like, how do you... Because 
mm, I'm kind of psychic. I don't think I am psychic. I think I could just read people well. And he was like, how do you know things about me? And he, he was very fascinated because I work as a healer over there and a shaman. He was like, how do you know these things about me? And how do you look? How do you just look at me? And how do you understand? And I told him this. It was in Vietnamese. I told him, the way I feel your energy is I just empty my mind. And uh, it's resonance. It's a resonance frequency. So when a Scorpio is staring at you, what they're really doing is it's almost like a meditative trance-like thing. And we're just emptying our mind. Bruce Lee said, empty your mind. Be still, my friend, like water. Water can take the form of a cup or it can become a teapot. Water can flow and water can crash. Be water, my friend. And that is the Scorpio. For a moment, all the water and the raging emotions are still. Like an ocean with no waves and it's just blank. And we are looking at you and we are absorbing your energy. Not absorbing as in stealing energy, but we are allowing your energy to get into our body so we can really understand who you are. Right? Because human beings in our mind, we have what's called mirror neurons. It's when we look at things, when we see someone in pain, we kind of feel a little pain, right? You ever see someone get hit and like, you're like, ooh, right? You feel it in your gut. Or if you see someone cry, you feel the little sadness. And Scorpio is kind of doing that at an extreme point. It is, the mind is empty when we are staring at you. And it is almost like taking a profile of you in that moment. We are looking at you. Uh, we are looking at your mannerisms. And we are kind of downloading your energy so it comes into our system and it's just logged in our mind. Uh, I do this all the time. Unconsciously, when I'm at the gym or something, I find myself just staring at people. I'm like, oh man, I hope they don't think I'm weird. <laughs> but I, it's not like... It's not a thing to creep people out. It's really when I'm, we are interested in people, we just kind of look at them and we just observe them. Because think of the nature of a scorpion, right? Scorpion, if you ever seen a scorpion or watch a video of it, they really just sit like a statue. But underneath, there's this intensity and there's a whole bunch of energy. But they have this ability to just sit like a statue. And that's similar to what the Scorpio is doing. He or she is just sitting uh, like a statue for a brief moment and they are in the void. And what they're doing is they're taking a, a, a mental snapshot, an energetic snapshot of who you are to really get a good idea, right? So, uh, we unconsciously take note of everything. And this and this really happens in about two or three seconds. It doesn't last very long. Maybe 10 seconds if we're really, really trying to get in there, right? But it really lasts like two or three seconds and you might catch it sometime. And we're just logging your energy, logging your mannerisms, uh, logging the way you move, logging how you respond to us, right? Well, do you smile? Do you get scared? Do you turn away? And Scorpio is just looking. Uh, it's almost like profiling you in their mind. And I do do this. Did this with my last girlfriend? Did this when I met her? And what did she do? She smiled at me. I said, oh, that's cute. <laughs> but she must have been terrified. Just, just looking at me with these blank eyes that uh, have no emotion on them. But that is what is happening. It is really using mirror neurons and really using your energy right to kind of absorb it into our system for a little bit so we get a good feel of you right and we it's almost like taking a snapshot an energetic snapshot of you in the scorpio's mind so that that is really what's happening when when the scorpio is staring right it seems like you're looking into nothing because at that moment you are you really are looking into a state of nothingness that uh, a trance that Scorpios can get into because we have this ability uh, to be very surgical like with precision and very trance like mm, almost like a different dimension that Scorpios t tend to access <laughs> and that is why they seem uh, so extreme they almost always live in this different dimension of uh, intensity and focus and it really is all or nothing so sometimes you see a Scorpio expressing themselves like how I am right now and it's all right it is all. But when we are in the what we call passive state, we're really expressing nothing. And we are taking in everything, just observing.
right? Just observing, and it could be a little creepy, right? As you turn around, and maybe a big guy or a little guy, just to see someone staring at you, like, <laughs> you know that look? You know what I'm saying? I do it sometimes. It's just like a blank face, and it's just looking at you with like no emotions. <laughs> it, 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 it must be a little creepy, and it must be a little intimidating, but to answer the question, it's not a sexual thing. If it was a sexual thing, you would know. But let me add on to that as well. It's, it could be a sexual thing, but it's like not a sexual thing. It's like an everything thing. <laughs> so in that moment, you're just being seen for everything. Right? You're just being seen as who you are and who you are presenting yourself as. From the clothes to the hair to the mannerisms to how attractive you are. So I guess that's sexual, but it's not just like, I want you. It's just looking like, Squid was like, who is this person? And they're making up in their mind who you are. And they are observing you and observing the way they move. Because remember, the Scorpio sign, overall, their true talent lies beneath the surface, right? The true talent lies beneath the surface. For example, the way I express myself in these videos. These are just things I've always known and this is just the way I've always functioned. But if you meet me in person, I might not say a word to you. <laughs> but this is the mind of it, right? Uh, I'm actually quite the introvert in person. I mean, if we're, I'm around someone I know, yeah. But most of the times, I can go days or weeks without even talking to anyone, and I'll be totally fine. And it's just, you know, he who speaks little, his words have more impact, more volume. But of course, on a podcast, we got to talk a lot. It would be weird if I just showed up. Because if Scorpio had emotions that they couldn't control, uh, you'd be able to know, right? Like, you know when a Scorpio is mad. And you can kind of know when a Scorpio is upset. Because their face, they really can't hide it. But if they aren't experiencing an extreme emotion, uh, it's very tough. They kind of have this poker face. I call it the RPF, resting poker face. Scorpios are great at that. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for the question. If you want to get your questions answered uh, on priority, you can click join in the link in the description. And... Yeah, I appreciate your continued support. I truly do. I truly, truly, truly do. I appreciate your continued support. And we're going to keep going all the way to the top. We're going to keep rising. We're going to keep transforming. And keep expanding the consciousness of our listeners of the Scorpio Scriptures. Love you all very much. See you next time.